We're back with part two of Maze of Memory here in uh, Brewster's new event, uh, Desperado. We already 100%ed one, two, and three, so we're gonna do four, five, and six. I was actually recording earlier and then something happened during it, so I had to re-record it. And here we are, so let's go and jump right into four. Before we move on, I'd appreciate it if you guys subscribe to the channel. We're almost at a thousand subscribers, guys, so make sure you press that subscription button. And one trick I can say that I've learned, and I've spoke to this uh, about this with my friend, is that you want to leave these uh, br the uh, the drinks for last uh, when you do the, the battles, right? I'll explain that in a little bit here, but let's just jump right into this battle. All right, here we go, guys. Let's go ahead and just do some manipulation here. Let's just go for the straight nukage. We have immunity against these guys, so we should be fine. No biggie. And what happens here? Everybody's stunned too. Um, let's just go ahead and we, we got this on auto. It seems pretty simple, not too hard. But again, these uh, stages you do want to make sure you're boosted, guys. So make sure you're farming up the uh, the stages on the uh, other event. You can go ahead and boost yourself as much as you can, so you can have the least amount of trouble passing these stages. All right, we're going to take Rune of Curses here just to get poison on everyone. So what I was saying here is you know how, how you have to move. Every time you move, you get 10 uh, stress. When you're at 100 or 90, I think you reach the uh, frenzy level. And that's okay. What, you, what you're going to want to do is leave these drinks for last. And then before you go into these fights, you want to actually just take the drinks and then get some of the frenzy off because in these stages is actually going to get to the point where it's really hard to uh, uh, to uh, basically to not have frenzy when you're jumping into these battles. That's why I recommend that when you are doing this, you want to make sure that you leave the drinks for last. And I will show you exactly how that works here once we're done with this battle. But we are pretty much sweeping this battle pretty cleanly and easily. Still got it on auto. I am planning on taking out Lin Zhao pretty soon, so my team stamina, my team morale doesn't take a hit, so then that's really important too. We're gonna take Rune of Frost here, a 10% chance of freezing, and this should open up the nodes, right? All right, so once we move one more, this is actually gonna get us to go into Frenzy. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna stay in Frenzy, and the reason why we don't want to fight in Frenzy is because we actually get no healing when we're in Frenzy mode when we go into a battle. We're gonna go ahead and grab Rune of Fluctuation. And uh, yes, yeah, so as you can see, we're at 100. And every time you move, you're only gonna lose minus three, which is not big of a, that big of a deal, to be honest. So here is the battle, right? We're gonna go into a battle and there's no way we can get uh, this brew right here. So what we're gonna do is get one of the, these right here and you can just tap it and get minus 30 here. And then what you can do here again is just tap into the battle and now you don't have that uh, frenzy anymore. So you'll be able to pass this pretty easily this way. Again, cause if you go into battle with the frenzy, it puts a debuff on you where you can't heal at all and you're taking extra damage. And it's just really bad overall having that debuff on you. I'm telling you, trust me, you do not wanna go into a battle with frenzy. And this just makes everything much easier. And uh, it's it just makes it harder because if you have Frenzy, again, you will take a lot of damage and you can't even heal that up or nothing. So it's pretty terrible. Over here, we did take a little bit of damage. So it was minus six. So it's kind of time that we put in our uh, healer, right? So, okay, we're just gonna go 15 speed and just get that speed up. All right, so now we're at 80 and now we're gonna grab this brew and this should open everything up here into the next location. And mind you guys, we have another brew all the way back here just in case we need it. And what we're gonna do now, since we open that up, we're gonna go up here. We're gonna grab this because we are gonna 100% this guys. You guys do need the boxes to 100%. And another trick is you wanna leave this bed here to recover your team morale. Um, so as you can see, when you're frenzied, it gives uh, crit rate 100%, uh, healing of e uh, efficacy re uh, received minus negative 100%. So that means no healing, right? When taking action, loses 15% of max HP. At the start of combat, Brewster gains a turn. While exploring the maze, each move consumes 2% of your squad morale. So that's why I said that, guys. So yeah, we, we're going to stay in this mode. And now we're gonna go into a battle, right? But before we go into that battle, we have this little brew back here waiting for us. So we're gonna go ahead and grab that brew for us, drink it up, and drop that uh, that stress meter for us, right? And then we're just gonna go here and go into this battle. 
And like I said, I don't want my team morale to take too much of a hit, so we're actually gonna bring in Ahmed for some healing. Alright guys, so here's the battle. I got it on auto. I'll just take it off auto, but just in case. Oh nice, we stunned the uh the Jin Xiao the Xiao Yun, sorry. Um, which is really nice because now we don't have to worry about him attacking us and stuff and going back into stealth. Pretty troublesome unit. I was hoping we stole the uh, the stealth buff because you actually can steal it. Um, but let's go ahead and drop this. He doesn't have stealth no more. And our boy Brewster just keeps following up pretty nicely because he has his stacks up uh, from his ult. And uh, this should be pretty much game, guys. So let's move on to the next one. So we lost zero there perfectly. We didn't even get touched. And for this, we're actually going to grab Bru Rune of Absorption just because I feel like I'm not, I'm not going to want to have Ahmed every single time, right? So we have a Brew here that we're going to actually just have to take, right? But again, you want to leave that last case scenario. But because we had to take it, we'll just take it. Let's go ahead and grab this box here. Now we're at 50%, so everything seems to be smooth sailing so far, guys. So we're going to go around and grab that box, right? We have one more brew. Okay, so I actually messed up. There wasn't a brew. I actually uh, stopped paying attention to that. <laughs> oh, shoot. Uh, that's going to bite me in the butt. Uh, we Now we're actually going to have to go into Frenzy in this battle, so... Uh, wish wish me luck guys. This is this is how hard it is when it's on uh, Frenzy. So Yeah, there's no point of bringing him in because you can't really heal uh, So we'll just go ahead and try our Lucas just because we need the CC and the AP manipulation. We can't get touched here guys um, And they got a Lewis. Oh my god, this is gonna be hard. So we're taking super damage uh, We got a nice stun there. We got the box here uh, Let's see if we can get some stuns uh, we got no stuns actually. Oh damn, they had a guy. I didn't even notice that. Whoops, I didn't do AP manipulation. This is gonna be really bad, guys. This is actually gonna be really, really bad. Hopefully, we can kill the guys here. Oh, okay, we got him stunned. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're actually fine. We got a huge stun on everyone, and uh, you know, Lucas just doing Lucas things. Let's go ahead and take this guy out. Uh, Alex is actually pretty scary. Let's go ahead and maybe push. So far, this is looking pretty good. We want to actually kill this Alexa now. Um, she's stunned, so I'm not too worried about her. Uh, she's about to put her uh, shield and anti-crit, which is a pain, so we're going to have to take some damage. Booster's about to die, so we're about to take a lot of damage off of that. Okay, we got him out. Uh, we want to take her out, honestly, as fast as we can. Let's try to steal some buffs. Uh, let's stun her. Can we get a stun? Oh my gosh, she's going to put her... Okay, she's really far back. We're pretty fast. And each turn we take, you guys see, we take a good hit of stamina. And we can't heal in this form. And we're going to lose a good amount of team morale. But luckily, we have the bed just chilling, right? So we will, we should be fine. We're going to lose a decent amount, though, here of team morale. So we lost minus 35. Oof. But that's okay. Okay, uh, so now, as you saw, we took a good hit on morale. And we got a bunch of openings here. So... Because we took a good hit of team morale, let's go ahead and take the bet here. We got 40% increase there. We're going to stay frenzied, guys. Um, just because. Uh, from what I was saying earlier. And there should be a bed here too soon. So we're just going to keep taking this, the, the little squad morale hits. And we're going to leave the bruise for the end. And uh, we should be... I feel like this would be the last batch of battles here coming up. And then we... We basically got this under control here, right? I don't know why I went there. Um, okay, so we can actually get some team morale here. Uh, let's get 40% here. Team morale, boom. Um, next, what we're going to do is come down here. Come down here. And we got two battles. So now we can grab a brew here. All right, grab a brew. We're going to grab that brew. And we're going to go into this battle nicely healed, right? So that's good. Now that we can heal, we can actually put Ahmed back in. That little nice 15%, that little 15 speed I got everyone makes a big difference here. Uh, wow, we only got one stun, surprisingly. The Ling is wide open. Uh, don't want him to hit us. He does have attack down, so I'm not too scared. Good healing. Good follow-ups. 
we have immunity, so we should be fine. <clears throat> we did get this, the stun from Tyranny and Zeus. And uh, let's just go ahead and just stun this uh, Thor just because he had Conductor buff up. You never know with that Conductor, it's super scary. You don't want that thing to go off ever. And Brewster's just straight up attacking everyone, dude. <laughs> He's just going in. Uh, let's go ahead and hit that. Boom. And we should be good. We should be good. I do want to put buff blocker on. Hopefully, I can land buff blocker here on uh, Renzi so we can take him out. Uh, and we do. So we could actually just take him out now. Let's just do this to top us up, get the cooldown reduction. And we should be fine here, guys. We should be fine here. Oh, we got him frozen. Sweet. And I think we, this should be it right here. Boom. And nice. We only lost plus two, minus two there. And what we're gonna grab here is increases ally uh, healing efficacy uh, for allied espers by 30%, which is big. And as you see here, we can go ahead and grab this box. We grab it, we go into frenzy because we reached that 90 stress mark. That's when you go into frenzy. And then we're gonna go ahead and grab this drink, take the drink, and then we can go here. And then boom, and then go right into the battle. All right, this, this level is a little tricky, so we brought in Lucas. See if we can get some CC going on. Give us a little breathing room. We got the stuns on the people we needed to stun. Which gives us a little breathing room, which is I was looking for, honestly, because we need a little chance to set up. We got Seer and Buff Blocker on everyone, which is huge. Let's go ahead and just kill our ultimate here. Let's just start working on this Molly. Um, let's go ahead and do that. Drop the defense down. This is looking like a good run. This is looking like a good run. I'm not gonna lie, this this is a tough stage. It's a very tough stage. Good counterattack. Everything is, looks like it's going good. But here comes the dispel. This is where I start struggling a little bit. All right, but if we can get some stuns, this would be great. We got one stun on the Pritzker, which is nice. Let's get some healing. Um, You know what? He's not gonna ult, is he? No, he can't. He's already ulted. We're just going to push him back. And we took him out. Nice, 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 nice. The poisons are put in and work. Uh, this is a good time to start hitting these trickies, I guess. Or probably should be the... Uh, honestly, we're not going to use that. Um, trickies are hard, man. They, they were really problematic because they dispelled my uh, Gabriel stuff. My Gabriel uh, defense buffs. So this trick is gone. Um, I guess just take the DPS out. Why not? I think we're going straight for the DPS probably was better here. But whatever. It's fine. It's fine. Um, I should have probably switched out, done my skill 2, and then go back into my skill 2 with um, Zeus. Oh my god, that's going to bite me in the butt. No way, dude. No way. Uh, I'm just gonna make sure I get him, right? He's gone. Um, and now we go after the tricky. The stun, we got the stun, which is nice. Oh God. Those poison ticks are doing really good, though. Actually doing really good. Because these enemies, super tanky ones especially. We're gonna get this here and finally we got this stage. I'm not gonna lie guys This stage did get me a couple tries, but the key thing is CC I guess so keep restarting until you get those key CC's and it should work out We lost mini minus 20 squirts, uh, squad morale and we're gonna get this one And this should open everything up, right? Uh, yep, and then we just go and just walk down. We're frenzied up, but it's okay because all we have to do is just walk down and get these last two down here, and we will be fine. Boom, and that's 100%. Bada beam, bada boom, all set, all done. There you have it. Tally it up, collect, and that's 100%. Now let's move on to. So we're gonna be doing the same thing. Is gonna be taking these pathways that we can. Let's go ahead and take this buff too while we can. Um, let's go ahead and take the poison. 
Um, so yeah, poison units actually come in handy with unit when you go against people with high HP. I've always said uh, poison units kind of need a buff, but they do have a use though. They do have a use because I believe, uh, from, if I'm remember correctly, poison is when you um, it's based on their HP, how high their HP. That's how much it, that's how much damage it does. Here go, here go. Hey! We'll keep it on uh, auto for now. They were level 59. Uh, I think we should be fine using this on auto. You wanna have a taste for this Time to go! Oh, we get to see the skill animation. <laughs> Swag surfing. Alright, yeah, so as I suspected, we should be fine. Um, I did a little couple tweaks in the boosting. So. Yeah. Only minus four, that's fine. And here, we're gonna go ahead and grab the attack up by 25%. Just to boost that up. Let's go ahead and grab that. And we're just gonna go ahead and jump into this battle right here. I don't think that takes us into Frenzy, does it? No, it does not. We're right sitting right at Frenzy, so that's right at 80, so we're good. Go, let's leave this on auto. We gotta be very careful with that raven, though. We gotta be really careful with that raven, guys. Uh, yeah, take out the raven. She can dispel and do a bunch of damage. Taking off our defense buffs and immunity. Man, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, guys. I do miss having Abigail on my team. Abigail makes things a lot easier, dude. Like, a lot easier. Because just so many buffs she provides. Minus six, not bad. Um, we're gonna get a Rune of Pursuit. That follow-up damage is always good. Okay, guys, so we're frenzied up. But before we keep going, uh, where else do we need to go here to open up the next thing? I think we just have to walk, right? Okay, yeah, all the way to the top. That opens up the top paths. And since we are, we have two brews, let's go ahead and take one brew for Brewster. Minus 30 here. And we'll take that, we have one more down here, we'll take that when we need it. Right now we don't, so let's keep rocking. There we go, guys. Home. Keep this on auto, we should be fine. Okay, good hits. Going for the steals. Oh no! Oh, that's gonna take a hit to our team morale. That's actually bad. Should be fine though. We have a uh, a bed up there, so that should be we should be okay, guys. Should be fine. All right, we have no way of stealing this yet or dispelling. Actually, we have uh, guys to dispel, but she she already has it off, so we should be fine. But you know what? Just do this and. Ahmed with the uh, <laughs> with the gill right there, nice. Beautifully. Okay, minus ten for one death. All right, so kind of kind of tough, but we'll take it. Upon uh, triggering an elemental boon, does fifty percent more damage. Oof, nice. That's nice. All right, so we got a bunch of boxes. We're gonna go ahead and do some collecting, guys. And uh, once we get to the once we're done collecting, we will come back and do the next battle, guys. These question marks can actually uh, boost your team morale or your stress. So I'm actually gonna go with safe event and safe event just takes away stress. Um, I should have saved that, but whatever, it's fine. We're back to being a uh, frenzy. <laughs> Let's do that, keep going. Let's take this. 40%, we're looking good, we're looking good. Let's get this box. All right. And we got like three brews, guys. We got three brews, we got one there, one there, one there, we got one here. So let's take on this battle here. 
All right, let's keep going. Don't forget to grab a brew. I almost forgot to grab a brew here. Take a brew. And now we're going to battle, not frenzied. We're gonna do that. Gonna push. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna do this just to have a high chance of landing that seer. Which is very nice. We don't have no defense break right now. So the seer is gonna come in handy. Oh, he actually tried to dispel. He only got one on the guy is the guy he needed to get it on. Oof. It's not good for us. Hmm, these guys are having pretty high resistances. Nice speed down. We'll take the speed down. We'll always take the speed down. Let's get those heals coming in. We gotta we gotta stun this guys, guys, because if he if he goes off, he's about to go off. Okay, nice. Uh, take out the Sally. Um, now we do our ult, guys. Nice. So, not bad. Uh, we shouldn't lose too much team morale for this. So we should be a-okay to move on to the next battle, guys. Let's go ahead and do that. We already got this guy. Minus two, not bad. And here, and we're just gonna do 50% more damage to units below 30% HP, which is nice. We open up the new section. Sheesh. So let's go. Let's start it up. All right, frenzy it up. That's okay. Let's grab our boxes. So this will put us at 70%. We need 30% more, and we're good. Which way do we go? Uh, I guess we'll just go this way. Since it'll get us to the gift box and we don't have to interfere with getting the, uh, the brew until we need it. Let's get that. We also got a buff to pick up here, which is nice. Let's see what we got here. Um, all right, we're just gonna grab Rune of Nightmare here. Get that one more, and let's go ahead and drink a brew, shall we? Boom. Take one, and this shouldn't get us into frenzy. When you're at 80 and you go into the battle, it won't put you to 90, so you should be fine. Let's see what we can do, though. Um, let's go ahead and try to land that. All right, we got the stun her. We gotta take out the Raven, guys. We gotta take her out. Just gonna follow up. Big damage by Sora. Oh, Chloe. All right, Raven, you're, you're out of here. The damage. Oh my God, the Mona. The Mona showing that she still, she still got it. Wait, our, our. Uh, he died. Oh no. It's not good for us, guys. And yeah, we're gonna lose a decent amount of points, but we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Minus 22, that's not good. We got Storm Rune here. Alright, we are frenzied up. And what we're gonna do here, guys, what we're gonna do. See what this does? Is that does it any opening? No. But we do need some morale, right? So it's the uh, safe event, right? Safe event. Oh no, that's the wrong one. But it opens it up just fine. It's rest event. We gotta go and do the rest. We gotta rest up here pretty soon because we are. <laughs> we are frenzied up. <laughs> it's the safe event, it's safe. So let's go ahead and do that now. Let's not risk it. Oh my god, I pressed safe again. No way. My team morale is taking a huge hit. There's a bed there. We need to get to that bed ASAP. We need to get to that bed ASAP, guys. All right, we got no stress now. I was stressed out, so Lord, just stress a little bit, I guess. All right, all right, all right. We're we'll stressed, but we do get some morale here. All right, so I think we got this under control, guys. All right, we're good now this here uh, we do have a question mark here we can go to 
And um, to be honest, I will just do it. Oh wait, rune event. Oh, it gives us. Oh, I thought it was the other one. <laughs> Oh, I wasn't paying attention, yikes. All right, um, I think we should be fine. We only need one more and that's the last one, so we're fine. Uh, so let's go ahead and take one of our brews here. Get out of frenzy. Get out of the frenzy, right? Get out of the frenzy zone. And then take on this battle. I have no dispellers, so I think we should be good. They have a hide. They did not show hide. They have a high, they did not show high. Let's get him out of spell. Spell that. Uh, we probably should have brought a Chloe now that I'm thinking about it. It's cool though, we got an armor. I mean, uh, Brewster. Go straight for the, the hide because we don't want to buff him up by getting his allies first. We all know about hide, what he's capable of. All right, we got him down here. Perfect. All right, we got him down. Nice. And now we can ult here. Boom. And we're basically good, guys. We're basically good. Nice. Minus two. Uh upon taking a hit, Allied Espers have a 30% chance of gain recovery. Alright, we'll just take that. Gain that recovery. And down here, frenzied up. Luckily we got a bunch of booze for us guys, right? Am I right? Actually, damn, it went down to the last brew, guys. Whoa. Went down right to the last brew to be able to do this. Oh my god. Okay. Saw what they did there? They hid hide. <laughs> um. Let's go straight into the damage. I was gonna put Seer, but whatever. Go straight into it. Nice. We got the person we wanted, dude. We got lucky there. Get her out of here. Get her out of here. Oh, they got a Lucas. They're, dis they're dispelling either way. But uh, Raven's dispel is much more devastating. They're hitting hard. They're hitting pretty hard. Defense down. Nice. Okay. Damage, let's heal. Top everybody up, get that cooldown reduction. Just kill this Lucas, he got the fence down. Not no more, spoke too soon. Oh no, he still does, he still does. Um, get that. Get that, I should've just done my ult, I mean my single target damage move. All right, we could actually run this on auto. And that should be the second, the fifth stage, guys, not the second. Um, and then we got six, and that should be it, guys. And we're good to go. Minus one, not bad. And we should be good. We don't really have to get anything else, just this box. And that's 100%, guys. That is how you 100% stage five, guys. Let's go. <laughs> Pretty decent rewards too. Some gold, crafting material, 10 shimmer fragments. Wish it was more ch fr shimmer fragments, but max level Starimon. Well, I was hoping that's a force star Starimon and more XP for how hard that was, but okay. All right, let's try six out. Okay, guys. Let's go to the last and final stage, man. This is it, this is for all the marbles. For all the marbles, guys. It went down to the last brew, and I almost messed it up too. Go ahead and get these gifts. We're frenzied again. Um, go here. Get these two shoes. Here, to here, to here. We're gonna just keep exhausting as much as we can. And now we'll go into the battle. And now that we're gonna go into the battle, you guys know what time it is. Drinking time. Let's go ahead and drink. 
Boom. All right, perfect. Level 59. We should be fine leaving this on auto. Um, we'll see if we can get through this. We'll see if we can get through this. Guys. Let's see. Let's see. We gotta uh, get some good runes also. I hope they give us some really good runes because that last run we had some good runes on the other one. Oh my god. Almost killed the booster. Okay. Damn, they're targeting the boy. Let's see. Let me take this off auto because I can easily just die here. Um, who's up? I, I guess we can just take do this. And then that. Okay, now we got it. Alright. Perfect. Didn't want to lose any team morale, that's why. We lost eight there, really. Wow. Alright, we're just gonna go with the rune of conquer. I was thinking about getting the 30% more healing. It probably would come more in handy. But it is what it is. Hopefully I made the right decision. This should open up a new path. Okay, there's a new path. Perfect. There is a battle down here for what? Okay, there's a brew and a gift box down there. So you guys know what we gotta do. I saw a bed up there too, so not bad. I wonder if we have to take that battle. I don't think we have to take that battle. I don't think there's an opening there. We'll leave that blue and gift box there. I don't think that opens to anything, so we'll just go up here. Mm. And recover some team morale, honestly. We've been taking a massive hit. We don't need that one. We can go into, go here, into here, All right? All right, into a beer. That can this opened up too. And notice this. Let's do this. Okay, there's some big openings. Oh damn, there's a lot of openings here in this level. It's going all the way. We can actually just do this battle right now. Actually, what does this lead to? Just the connection to more stuff and that's the ending right there um so what we're gonna do since we're at 100 uh you want to take advantage and just since we're at 100 just go ahead and stay at 100 and just keep going like this until you really really need to take a brew or go to a nearest bed which we did get close to one there is one it's pretty close to us there's one right there speaking of it we have to go through a battle for that one, right? So, uh, let's increase our defense. That's a good room. I like that room a lot. These defense is always my jams. Down here, we can actually drink a brew and go into that battle. Okay, then we can go here, brew into battle. Into ba brew into battle into that. Um, yeah, I think... I do want to get a brew and go into this battle, but there's a team around. There's a bed up here that I actually want to get to. Let's go ahead and just get this bed now while we still can. Hopefully it's not too crazy hard. Oh, another advice is actually, another thing is that when you're this low and you go into a battle, and if they take, if you like beat the stage where your squad morale is, they do 46 of squad, more than 46 squad morale damage. You're actually done for, so you kind of want to be careful with that. So because of that, we're going to go ahead and do a rest event, guys. We got 40% squad morale, and we're good. And now we'll just jump right into the battle. I have no frenzy. We have good squad morale, and we should be chilling now. Well, I'm hoping these guys are level 63. Sheesh. Sheesh, sheesh, sheesh. Um, I'm gonna put buff blocker. Try to put buff blocker because the issue is gonna go ahead and try to do things. 
Uh, let's do this. Take out the Yishva. Good thing I got Seer on her. Do that. Good follow up. Okay, we're actually going to take out the Yishua right away. Very nice. We don't have to deal with that. Boom. Big stuns. Damn, is it me or is this? Rooster's just going in with the, the follow ups. That. You don't even have to heal. Dude, they've been CC'd the whole game. <laughs> Alright, guys, so we got this one and we'll go into the next one. Minus nine. Okay. We did take a decent hit there. We'll take Rune of Pursuit here. Um, we are frenzied. We can go quite the distance here. So let's go and grab a brew. Let's grab a brew. Let's go here. Get this. Let's do this battle right here, level 61. So this should be audible. It should be audible. Let's see. Boom. Boom. Yeah, we're good. Able to auto out of this pretty nicely. Okay, guys. So we got this. Let's just run into the next one. Don't lose anything there. Pretty nice. We'll get a rune of courage here. Boom. Um, and we'll just use up some frenzy damage here. And grabbing his gifts. I have 50% now. Very close to finishing, guys. Oh, damn, that was actually unnecessary. I don't know why I did that. See, that was unnecessary. I didn't even do that at all. Go here. We'll just grab this bed. Uh, since it'll give us 40% morale. Very nice. Um, we could do two here. Actually, no, we don't need to do that. Go straight this way. Oh, we don't even, even need to go here anymore. You just take the brew and go into this battle. Alright, let's take the brew. Go into this battle. And, yeah. Oh, they got a uh, hide, though. So, yeah, let's dispel that spell. Start focusing the hide. Oh, I'm always scared of hides. That's why. That's why I'm always scared of hides. He's not even buffed and he's doing crazy damage. Oh my god. Not even fully buffed and he's doing that damage. Is TA gonna die? Okay, we got hide kind of-ish. Get speed down, get stuns. We got hide. Don't get the TA, please. Let me get some healing in. We got some healing and we saved the TA. Perfect. I'll take that guy out. These two are stunned back here. Good counter. Oh no, I meant to hit him. Oh, it's fine. We're good, we're good. Minus 12, not too bad. Now, rune, rune of Flying Plume. That's nice. What does this unlock? Alright, and for here, we will grab... I guess we'll just grab Storm Rune. Does this open up a path? I don't think so. That just gave us a rune. You didn't need to take that battle. So don't take that battle if you guys don't need to. It's kind of unnecessary. Um, but we do need four more gifts, right? Go ahead and do this first. Drink the brew. And let's battle. In the first one, I was struggling with that. Okay, here we go. Sorry about that, guys. Here we go. Oh, damn. I have it on auto. I just noticed that. Uh, it looks like my auto team is doing pretty fine, but we need to focus that guy is, man. We're not focusing. We got him stunned. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Boom. That's 
done. The speed, having the speed advantage here in this field is really nice. Oh, let's take this guy out. Some good early damage. Take out the Sally. Um, take out the Kaylee. And we basically got this guy too, guys. So I will see you guys once we take him out. All right, we're going to grab Rune of Tusk to apply bleed every attack. We're going to go here. We're going to go straight into the battle just because we are not frenzied and then we'll collect the gifts. We're actually going to try Lin Zhao here instead of Ahmed just because I want to try to go ahead and take them down before they uh, can have a chance to take a turn. Let's get those dispels. We got the uh, defense down, which is very nice. I do want to take out the Tevra. He is very problematic and does a bunch of damage. We reset his AP, which is nice. Um, okay, nice. We got the stun on him. Good follow-up. Get the defense downs. Okay, nice. Uh, now, what we need to do is uh, she has her ult, so we need to keep her stunned because if she dispels everything, we're kind of screwed. We need, we need that. We need that. Everybody has the fence down, so that's good for us. Let's take advantage of that. Okay, good follow-ups. We got a lot of stuns here. We don't need to overcommit here. Nice, we got the Brewster. Um, next, we need to take out the Clara so she doesn't keep, uh, so she doesn't dispel. Let's go ahead and transform. Let's go ham with the damage. Good follow-up, Brew Brew. Uh, take her out. Nice, we got the Clara. Buff blocking. All right, let's go for the stun. We got a stun. Still got defense down on him. As long as we take out this Thor, we're good. Take a counter. Another counter with the follow-up. See you later. And we got it, guys. I think that's it. That, that is that is it, guys. That This should be the last fight, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe there's one more. I might be wrong. But we cleared it 100%. This tank tank. Boom. Boom. And we got it. Let's go. So, if I'm correct, this gives us all the boxes, right? So let's go here. Let's go here. One. And then there's two over here. There's one down here. And a little drink. 80, 90, and 100. Oh, there's super sound matrixes for this one. That's it, guys. That is it. Let's get a little drink before we end it. Just so we won't end it on frenzy. <laughs> I don't think that that matters, but as long as it's 100%, you can walk out and just tally it up. And that's it. That's the rewards. Uh, like I said, I wish the rewards were a little bit better. 50 Super Sound Matrices probably should have been like... Would have been nice if it was like 100 or something or 150, but... I mean, it's, it is what it is. There you go, guys. 100% Maze of Memory. Um, let me know how you guys did during this event. I hope this was helpful to you guys and also entertaining at the same time. And I will see you guys in the next one. It's your boy Jada. I'm out. Peace.